Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we stumbled across a human trafficker's little den out in the middle of the Badlands. We then ventured over to Santo Domingo and uh, got involved in a little bit of a turf war between Sixth Street and Scavengers, which uh, very nearly turned very nasty. We managed to sidestep that one, picked up a reward for an old job, and then came over here to Vista del Rey, where... We came up here to the rooftop of uh, the Hotel Adverset and uh, encountered a very old relic indeed. Um, <laughs> supremely cool little Easter egg here up on the rooftops of Vista. Uh, something I didn't realise until uh, I actually stopped recording was this very, very cool little illuminated monogram of like tears from the very same scene from Blade Runner. Very cool CDPR, very cool indeed. Okay, we'll head on down back to street level. Hold on. Is that... Oh, okay. I thought that that was a little logo or something from Blade Runner, but I've just realised, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but that Art Deco style is actually very similar to uh, that scene throughout Deckard's uh, apartment block. Okay. Let's head back down to ground level. And, uh, oh yeah, it also occurred to me that this little, uh, this nice little extra that's waiting here on the reception desk of the hotel advocate is... Uh, a very nice little nod to Blade Runner as well. Uh, why I didn't piece it together from this, I've no idea. This little fella here on the counter. A little origami crane there. Is it a crane? Well, some sort of bird anyway. Uh, right, so now we're back into the relative peace and quiet of Night City, having just stepped from uh, 21st century <laughs> Los Angeles by the looks of it on the rooftop. Let's take a little look at the map and see what we've got left. So, um... In terms of main quests, not a lot. We, of course, have uh, Hanako <laughs> drumming her fingers impatiently on the bar over at Embers. Uh, but we also have a couple of other points here. So we've got... We do still need to go and actually speak to Misty after finally picking up all of the tarot cards some time ago. But I want to head into North Oak to... Uh, to push the uh, the story along in terms of Samurai's little uh, reunion gig that's uh, coming up. We need to go to Denny's Mansion just up the hill from uh, Kerry Eurodyne's place. Uh, what I might do on the way, however, let me see. Um, before we go anywhere, I just very quickly want to address these 21 perk points that we've got. Now, I'm not in a position to plunge them all into, uh, into well thought out and strategic and advantageous locations at the moment because, quite frankly, I haven't had a chance to look. And uh, given my track record of um, perk point placement for the first 150 plus episodes, I think it's probably best if I actually wait for a moment until I get a chance to really assess where it's going to pack the most punch. However, something that has been chorused time and time again in the comments by uh, a few different people is that we should really look into at least taking Grease Monkey. And we've got 21 perk points available. What's one? <laughs> That's not going to hurt us, taking uh, Grease Monkey, because at least then we can upgrade a couple of bits and bobs. In fact, it hadn't even occurred to me thinking about it. Of course, Satori is just rare level, isn't it? I, I, I couldn't for the life of me, when I initially read the comments, guys, sorry about this, work out the advantage of, uh, of taking that. But of course, we can upgrade Satori now, can't we? Oh, bloody beautiful. Right, let's, uh, let's take a look then. So, where are we? Uh, oh, good. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. Crafting? Can we craft epic level Satori? Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, right. Of course. Yes. We can't upgrade anymore because it's at the maximum level for um, rare. What's it? Rare iconic that it's currently at. But we can craft the epic iconic. Oh, bloody marvelous. So let's see. That's going to take it up to 442 damage, 1344 DPS. I think that DPS is at 1100 or something at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, 1158. Wow. So immediately that's a huge jump in damage. Plus, will that... I think that might unlock another mod slot. Let's have a little look. Lovely stuff. So, if we take a look at Satori now... Oh, yes! Extra mod slot. Marvellous. So, we now have two mod slots available to us. It would definitely be worth throwing something in there. So, let's see. We've got... Hold on a minute. I feel like I've been shortchanged there. That DPS has gone down. I'm sure it has. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no matter. I wonder if that might go up... I'm just going to try something. Let's just exit. Well, that's unusual. I was expecting a little thing on the left saying, we've lost a, a, a rare grade Satori, but we've gained an epic grade Satori. Apparently that doesn't work. Uh, 
Oh, okay, I was kind of expecting the DPS to go up on that as it recalculated for um, for modifiers. But okay, let's take a look at the mods that we've got available for it. So, cold shoulder increases damage by 5%. Nice. Increases weapon attack speed by 0.3. Increases crit damage by 10%. Well, the crit damage is already ridiculous. And crit chance. Yeah, we're going for those two. Um, so, crit chance at the moment uh, is 2% with 534% crit damage. Let's chuck these two in. And that's bumped it to 4.5% crit damage. Much better. Almost a 1 in 20 uh, chance of hitting crit. Plus a 544% crit damage. 15% bleeding chance. Very, very nice. Uh, lovely. So let's get to the upgrading. So let's see where we can take this little beastie. Right, okay. This is all making sense now. And... Looks like... I, I can't remember what the exact requirements for each grade of upgrade component was, but uh, did it consume epic before? I suppose it didn't because it wasn't epic level. Okay, so epic upgrade components are going to come into play. We're going to start eating through these very fast. We might need to... Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. We only managed to upgrade it by one level and it's hit max. Right. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be quite honest with you. Um, slightly perplexed. All right, fine. <laughs> I guess we're uh, sitting on current Satori until we can upgrade it to Legendary then. That was really quite unusual. Okay, um, I'm sure there's other things that we could be crafting before too long. Um, let's... Do you know what? <laughs> Curiosity's got the better of me now. Let's have a little sniff and see what exactly we can craft with this. Um, so... We could craft another Byako. Legendary Iconic. No, we couldn't because we don't have the... Yeah, there's the Tori. Much higher base damage. Probably another mod slot as well. But of course, we can't do that until uh, we're a little bit further along, along the line. Let's see. What level is our Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell is also rare Iconic. Cool. Let's get crafting then. Uh, craft you. Now, is it going to be the same story? Because we upgraded the uh, the uncommon... No, the, sorry, the rare level to maximum. Is this going to be just a one-step upgrade tree as well? Yes, it is. How strange. So we can only upgrade it one step, even though it's a completely different level. I'm slightly thrown by that. I wasn't quite expecting that. Mm, okay, um, let's see. Can we... Oh, we can upgrade our armor. Oh, blimey, I wasn't expecting that. Now... I'm not going to upgrade my armor. <laughs> now that I've just looked at that, what I will do is see if I, there are any upgrades available for our... Tell me I'm cute pilot cat with telly polymer goggles. Can we upgrade this very much? I thought we'd been through the, uh, the upgrade ringer with these. Maybe not. Or maybe all levels of upgrades um, have a little bit more wiggle room, a bit more capacity for throwing upgrades in there. Now that we're... Um, got quite a few levels off on that. Now that we have that uh, that perk in crafting, let's upgrade our visor as well. At least that affords us a little bit more armor. It's quite quite expensive route to uh, to getting just a few more points of armor. But um, yeah, the reason I'm not upgrading my upper wear, I've just realised I haven't tried to upgrade my t-shirt, is we're going to call by Jinguji. We're going to go and see uh, what's his name now? Was it Zane? Yeah, we're going to pop over and see Zane very briefly. And uh, say hello and talk to him about that discount that uh, he promised us not too long ago. Let's see, what can we ride on? Um, I would ride on the... <laughs> Do you know what? I'm in the mood for silliness. I would ride on the uh, the Arch Nazari, but, uh, you know, current weather can... <laughs> you watch yourself. Current weather conditions and all don't really permit it. So, let's... Uh, hello! <laughs> Let's head on over to Jinguji. <laughs> I just realised we're uh, really arriving at uh, such an exclusive clothier in style here in this ride, eh? Uh, yeah, we're going to head there because Robert in the comments, um, one of his many wonderful little tidbits that he drops into the comments for us is that uh, there's something out there somewhere called the Laser Punk Jacket. I think it was a jacket and um, that it can only be acquired in a very exclusive clothing store. So I think I know precisely what he may mean. Hello there. Sorry. Coming through. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. 
Here we are. Right. Hopefully no major heavy shit goes down when we walk into the store this time. It would be nice if I could just walk in, pick something off the rack and walk out again. Hopefully, uh, Zane won't be selling us any sequin shit this time, as V so eloquently put it previously. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's brand new hustle here by the looks of it. Hiya. Hey, diddling. You DTF. Uh, I what? DTF? Um, <laughs> okay. Why are the alert lights on? Hello, Zane. Hi, yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you like the uh, the change in mood that the uh, the cyber psycho warning gave off? Uh, the attack didn't scare off the customers. The attack hasn't scared off your customers. To be honest, our PR have fared well. I announced a new promotion, awarded vouchers to the victims' families. But in any case, the brand is its own best defense. Some believe I made it all up as a marketing stunt. <laughs> so the victims were compensated with Jinguji vouchers. How very... Hey, Zane. Uh... Anything new on offer for those of us who crave perfection? Always. And especially for those who saved my life. Yeah, how very heartfelt. Here, have a voucher. Sorry about your loved ones and all. Uh, let's have a little look. So, um, we arrange this by type. We want it by rarity, don't we? Let's have a little look. So, um, thank goodness it's not that that I'm looking for. The Blower Nebble Easy Breathe. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. We've got an extra clothing slot, but not much advantage otherwise. Ah! Oh, very interesting. Okay, so this is the laser punk tungsten plated poser jacket. So this is what uh, what I've been sent here for. The heart will wear what the heart wants. I'm sure, the heart will. Um, two clothing slots, same as what we've got. We would need to pick up another armadillo mod to bring the armor up to spec. But let's see. Our current police jacket has fifty five near enough uh, armor afforded to it by a armadillo mod, which means its base is about one nine five. So this has better armor. Um, plus it's got thermal, chemical, and electrical resistance, but don't we have immunity to those things on another piece of clothing? I think our trousers have got immunity to them, if I remember correctly. I may be making that up, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, it's only 737 eddies, it would be stupid not to pick it up. Lovely stuff. Let's take a look on his everything as well, actually. Do you, do you stop crafting components? I never even thought to take a look last time we were here, I don't think. Uh, no, you don't. Okay, that's uh, mighty, mighty sad. Let's see what you do have. Do you have any tasty mods? Um, resistances, increased crit chance, increased crit chance. Okay. And increased damage dealt. Uh, let me see. Oh, these are cheapest chips anyway, aren't they? Let's just buy these whilst they're there, uh, including, yeah, damage dealt. What's this one? Increased crit damage. Yes, please. We'll have that. Um, headshot damage and increased crit damage as well as another uh, little modifier to it. Very nice. Oh, hello. A crafting spec for super insulator. Super insulator is the one that is the resistance against electrical attacks, I think. Which is, okay. Crafting spec for enhanced demon hunter tongues. Ooh, those would go with our demon hunter t-shirt, I think. But I'm not that bothered. Um, yeah, we've got legendary headwear already. Okay, cool. Um, nice. Thanks, Zane. Uh, let's... Um... Let's see what mods we actually do have for that jacket whilst we're here. Well, let's try it on for size, first of all, see how it fits. Oh. Oh, that's a bit more streak. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's streaked and severe bling all at the same time. Perhaps this Jinguji stuff isn't all that bad. Uh, what's it got on the back? Punk. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Oh, fantastic. What mods do we have, though? That's the thing. Armadillo... Oh, even better. We've got an armadillo, which pumps it up to... to that's going to re be astronomical heights. Right, so... Uh, direct comparison. What else did we have on the Aramid Reinforced Badge Coat? We had minus six stamina cost reduction whilst attacking. Anything along those lines for uh, the Laser Punk jacket? Stamina bonus. Street cred. That's useless. Uh, block damage reduction, meh, mitigation, meh, street cred, meh, block damage reduction, meh. Do you know what? Screw it, I'm going to stick with the laser punk. Uh, let's throw this on. Lovely stuff. Now if we compare, yeah, 266 armor compared to 250. Wonderful. Robert, once again, thank you very much for the tip. Very much in your... 
in your uh, in your debt. Look at the arms. The stuff down the arms. It's like, oh, I, I forget what it is. I've seen that somewhere before. It's like plate armor, almost like armadillo arm. Oh, that's beautiful. Excellent. We need a funky top to match it. Now, that's the only problem. Um, what have we actually got? Oh, no, we've got a soddle. It's basically this or the, uh, or the samurai top, isn't it? Uh, okay, we're going to have to keep our eyes open for a decent t-shirt, I think. Decent t-shirt, we could get away. Oh, do you know what? The trousers actually match the new jacket really well with the um, the sort of <laughs> sequin shit and uh, and the arm plating. Very cool. Okay. All right, enough of this garb. Let's, uh, let's actually go and do something constructive, eh? Shall we? Right, let's uh, hop in the Mai Mai. Ooh, hello. The Mai Mai's twin brother over there. Hop in the Mai Mai and head up to Norfolk. Let's pay Denny a quick visit. So... Been a little while since we last spoke to uh, last spoke to Johnny and Kerry and such. In fact, the last person from Samurai that we spoke to, I think, would have been um, would have been Best Isis, wouldn't it, Nancy, when we uh, pulled her out of Tans. But uh, yeah, this is presumably going to continue the little uh, harebrain scheme to reunite the old band. Uh -oh. Sorry, that looked expensive. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, whoa, easy. I wasn't expecting that thing to come uh, pulling forward quite, so, quite as quickly as it did. Uh, yeah, so let's go and uh, follow up on this little scheme. God, this thing does not corner as well as the um, caliber. I was, I was struggling, reaching, trying to remember what the name of the car was. I think our brain is reaching cr critical mass with all of this information. Right, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. See, this is one thing that the uh, the caliber doesn't do quite as well. The dodging and the weaving, because this thing's about the size of a shoebox. I think I said it before a long time ago, Japantown looks damn good at night, even though it's crawling with filthy tiger clawed scum. Do you know what? We haven't put... Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, my, my. Not sorry for you. We haven't put up. Jesus Christ. We haven't put our blade through any Tiger Claw skulls for quite some time, have we? Feeling a little nostalgic. Perhaps we should come back and uh, just randomly spill some Tiger Claw blood at some point in the not too distant future. Okay, anyway, mind in the game. Up and round. Oh, easy. Excuse me, get me through. <laughs> oh, this seems like a dodging car. Beautiful. So, we've not met Denny. What? I don't know what I just dodged in. I think it looked like a Militech truck. We've not met Denny yet, have we? Um, although, something that was rather cryptic, and I wonder if this will actually come up again, because Johnny noticed it as well. There was the name Den Den plastered on the wall in the Totentans. When we were escaping through the restroom, after, uh, whoa, hello. Um, <laughs> apparently I came up completely unscathed. Didn't even make a bang. Hardy little things, these Macca guys. We, yeah, saw uh, Den Den was here or something like that on the wall in Tonton Tans. This thing's got a mind of its own. So it will be interesting. Really, really, my, my. What the hell is this thing doing? As soon as it reaches an incline in the wet, it just turns into a... I don't even know. Roller skate. Um, yeah, so I don't know whether that is pertinent. I would assume that it is. Like I say, Johnny Silverhand made a note of it as well. We haven't spoken to old John for a little while. Let's, um, I'm sure we're going to get Johnny Silverhand overdose up at the top of the hill. Whoa. Okay. Uh, we made it. <laughs> Just about. So this is Denny's place? Put the Maka guy here. Hello. Right. See you later, my dear. Um, right, camera's friendly at least. We can see that much. See those? Uh, what happened here? Oh, she hello. must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Huh. Yeah, so let's uh, let's see if we can't remember what the uh, the history between these guys was. Uh so Denny and Henry have been together for a little while. Henry is a prized gonk, but for some reason they, they've stuck together through thick and thin. Um, oh, wow. 
Now you get a scan on these for these tire tracks. Um, Quarkers. Distinct tire tracks heavy truck. Is is it still there? Uh, this thing's leading right the way around, isn't it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, loot. Nice. No. Wait, hold on. Why have they got a Rayfield Erendite just parked out in the middle of the dirt here? That's weird. See, Carrie beat us here. Oh. Carrie's got an Erendite. Hello. Oh. Uh, what? Hold on. <laughs> Who are we seeing here? Rayfield Erendite, yeah. Cool, fine. The corkers presumably went barreling through here. Looks like the gate's been smashed through. Is that Denny? That's Denny. Henry? That's Henry. Right, I'm gonna just backtrack a moment and pretend I didn't see that. Let's take Johnny's subtle approach and uh, ring the doorbell and see what happens. Hello? Hi. Um, Johnny Silverhand. Reincarnated. Right then. Guess we keep looking. All right. Tradesman's entrance it is then. Um, yeah, so from what I can gather, these two have been at each other's throats for decades. I'm intrigued as to where Carrie is, though. He doesn't seem to be in the fray. Whoa. You fucking god! <laughs> oh boy. Danny, what? Sounds sadly for What are you doing here? Found the truck. This is really your house? This is your fucking pool? V! Whoa. Uh, good you're here. You're gonna pay for this. We got a problem. Piece of shit. <laughs> you bet I will. Just hey, so Carrie? I can come back again. Uh, care to fill me in? Maybe is this then, supposed to be Henry's surprise? Me to die in this yeah, street? I obviously missed a few beats. Left you to <laughs> Looks die. like he was holding some sort of grass. Ugh, I wish you so would So he flooded the pool with concrete. Oh. Why am I Henry did often get talking. emotional. Get the fuck out! Right, so then What, now? Already? No grand tour? They had a history, didn't they? I'm sure they did. Introduce me v. to the fam! But he's obviously not living here. He just called by Go with a cement truck and took a dip in the pool. Know what happened between them? I kid you not. From what I've come I'm to understand, fucking head off. one day, Denny disappeared without a word, oh, then what? hid from Henry. I imagine know. that wasn't too hard in his state of mind. Don't Either know what. out of it That I lost years Maria. of my life to a scumbag yep. like you. That is... Till I yeah. gave Henry her address. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> that <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, if you broach the subject of the get together. What about the concert? I haven't gotten a chance to ask Denny yet. <laughs> Doesn't look good, though. V, talk to them. Carrie will just make it worse. Uh, not really my biz. Go, go. They'll get past it in a sec. <laughs> Carrie didn't piss all over himself out of joy when he saw me either. Fair enough, I guess. Right, um, hello, hi, sorry, uh, total stranger off the street. Yeah, re-embodied re Johnny Silverhand. In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place. <laughs> Carrie sent me about the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Uh, hi. Um, yeah, he, uh, well, I mean, he is just over there. <laughs> yeah, he felt a little bit awkward. Where... Day this is. This is gonna take much longer. Felt slightly awkward coming towards you with the with that thing in your hand. Is that gold? Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. <laughs> oh my god. You're like a performing seal. Um, yeah. Some fucking day this is this gonna take much longer okay okay i'll get straight to the point we're bringing back samurai one night only that's what he wants to get the crew together for sweet but no fucking way not about to play with this shit stain <laughs> danny no no way either him or me choose danny digs in her heels we're done mm. how's it going oh here he is like shit man Denny wants me out of the gig, and we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. <laughs> it's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Oh, God. Oh, and of course, we're right in the middle of this. Um, 
Yeah, uh, Johnny, your opinion? Well, what's the plan? You know these people better than me. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, yeah, maybe if I knew your side of the things... Maybe if someone would tell me what happened... Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement! Maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? <laughs> yeah, uh, about that reason? You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Danny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air! <laughs> oh, fucking Prem. <laughs> um, yeah, looks like we're going to be one person down. Got to go with that one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. Um, yeah, I mean, she's got a hell of a temper on her. Like, hey, oh my God. Help me out with this, please. But... <laughs> like Johnny said, this guy's an absolute gonk. And who comes round when you yeah, know well. that the band's getting back together? Carrie's trying to reunite everybody. Why drive through her wall across her patio with a cement Felt truck completely out of patience. and completely block up her swimming pool? Yeah, we're taking Denny. <sighs> if we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you... You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? <laughs> Get out. Uh. Oh, I thought she was directing that right, carry then. About Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I can now take I it. Now I gotta find well. someone to clean this up. Oh, that's amazing! Okay, I can actually all take we it. Can do for now. Except to wait for Nancy to call. Okay. Um, can we... Can we talk to Denny a little bit more? I, I really want this bat. I don't want to step into the concrete, though. Gold-plated baseball bat. Amazing. Infused with Denny's rage. High chance to apply bleeding. Low chance to apply stun. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I love that it's got bolts in the end of it as well. How does that damage compare to Tinkerbell, I wonder? I'm going to take a look. Tinkerbell, you might be in trouble here. Um, let's have a little look here. So, Tinkerbell is 885 DPS. They're about on par, actually. Um, neither of them have got mods either. With a few upgrades, that gold-plated baseball bat, oh my god, that could be amazing. I think... Tinkerbell, even with that charge attack? Tinkerbell's days might be numbered. Sorry, Tinks. Um, hi. <laughs> yeah. Are you alright? Nice shoes, by the way. Everything okay? No. Just the sight of that douche water reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So hmm. his fault after all. Well, normally, Denny's not a raging bitch. Okay. Well, pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm. Doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. Well, if Johnny says she's not normally uh, in a rage like that, I think it's quite clear that Henry pushed her to that sort of brink. Um, I think that's that's about everything that we can get from her. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, anything of interest here whilst we're, <laughs> whilst we're lurking around and whilst we're... Uh, temporarily in good favor with Denny. Anything? Nothing? Can we gain anything from this thing? No, it doesn't appear so. Uh, I don't really want to walk over this mulch, but... Okay. No, nothing here for us by the looks of things. Can we get in? We cannot get in. I'm quite surprised that Denny's just so cool about us walking in and apparently calling the shots because... Oh, Kenny's taken off. I was wondering whether he might be out here waiting for us. Seeing as he has taken off, I'm going to just take the long way around the building in case there are any pickups around there. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I know that we kind of mediated that whole thing, but then I'm... Oh, hello. 
Oh, I'm glad I took a little bit of a mooch. Wait, I saw something here. Wait, where was that? Where was the... I saw a shard. I swear I saw a shard. Hold on. What's going on? Oh, can we... Hold on. Can we go inside? It doesn't look like we can. Where the hell did I see this shard? I didn't dream that, did I? I saw a shard indicator somewhere. Oh, I know what might have happened. I definitely saw a shard indicator. Yeah. 110% I saw a shard indicator, but it might be the hide red shards mod cutting in to remove it again when I got in close proximity because uh, it's one we've already picked up. Look at this. Oh, hold on. We had a... Yeah, we had upgrade components on the roof here. That's a really nice uh, Alvarado. Hmm. Behave, V. There goes stealing samurai equipment. What have we? Uh, nice. Epic item components. They'll come in handy. Let's uh, just mooch around her rooftop pavilion as well. I feel like we should be able to get inside there at some point. Maybe we will have access a bit later on. This is a really nice pad. I mean, it stands to reason given the location, I guess, but uh, really nice pad. Anything? No, I think we're out of luck on the uh, on the loot and interesting shit front. Right, let's get out of here. Um, oh, hello. Oh, he's waiting outside. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll approach from uh, we'll approach from his tire tracks. Hi, Henry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I kind of uh, bummed you out back there. Sorry, it played out. He looks like an absolute waste. I'm glad we've been this guy off. I'm probably going to live to regret those words, but I am glad I've been him off. Okay, so uh, we're in a bit of a loose end now. Let's take a trip back towards V's mega building. Been a little while since we called in there. Let's maybe go and pay Misty a visit. Um, yeah, been some time. We've got time to kill anyway. We need to wait for Nancy to give us a ring. So we'll call by home. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I think it might be time to chop in these wheels for something with a little bit more grunt next time we need to be anywhere. Um, I'd love my little Naka guy, Mai Mai, but it's, it's readily apparent now that this seems vastly underpowered compared to a lot of other wheels. Um, I think we haven't driven any of the, um, the quarter turbos for a little while. Perhaps I'll pick one of those for our next seed. But until then, we're heading back over to Watson, uh, back the way we came a little bit earlier on. Oh, I don't think I'm going to call in at home. Home, I'm going to make a beeline straight to Misty's house. I don't think we've got much that we need to call in at home for, to be honest with you. I might call in at uh, Judy's place as well, actually. Get a little bit of shut-eye there to uh, to get a little bit of... Oh, in fact, where have we got a coffee machine? Which one is it that gives you the XP boost? Oh, it's a shower, isn't it? Yeah, actually, I'll just call in at Judy's and take a shower and get a little bit of sleep and uh, see where the night takes us then. Well, the, the very early morning, I should say. My gosh, it's been a while since we've been around these parts. I'm sure I say that every time we drive through. We'll pop in and see Vic as well, actually, quickly. I doubt he's got much to, uh, to say to us, to be honest, but hold on. Why are we marking this as a hostile area? I'm intrigued. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's pop in and see Vic Vector. See if he's got anything new for us. I highly doubt that he has. Vic's, um... Vic's range of wear seems to be... Seems to have diminished quite some time ago, to be honest. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Let's skip this. Let's see, what have we got available for us? Um, nothing's going to beat the cyberdeck. I don't even know why I bothered to come in. Oh, actually saying that, we had something. We picked up an upgraded version of something we already have on us, didn't we? I think it was uh, it was X-Disc, wasn't it? Let's see. Yes, we have. 
we do have an upgraded version of X Disk. So this is going to increase our overall RAM by another two. Lovely stuff. We'll take that. Thank you kindly. Do we have any upgrades to anything else that we've got on us at the moment? We don't. We've got a bit of a mishmash of grades of stuff, really, haven't we? Some we've got uncommon. Others we've got epic. Others we've got uh, just rare grade stuff. Do we have an upgrade to... What is this? Reflex Tuner. Yeah, this is the one that slows time when we're desperately low on health. And we don't have an upgraded version of that available through our Mr. Vector, by the looks of it. Yeah, he's got reasonably low-level kit by the looks of things, which is... Uh, a terrible, terrible shame. Something I haven't looked at as well is if we've got any um, upgrades for any of the stuff that we have here. We fitted a smart link a while ago and have not used it even once. Oh, we do have a smart link here. We haven't got any smart weapons, though, have we? Maybe we could do with looking out for uh, a smart sniper rifle. Hmm. Um, let's see. It allows you to use smart targeting module, but it increases the chance for smart bullets to hit targets by 15% and crit damage by 20%. Oh, which is just flat out improvement over the regular smart link. How much is that? Ooh, 16,800 eddies. Seeing as we don't actually have a smart weapon to lean on at the moment, I'm going to pass, but it's interesting to know that that's there. Do we have... Oh, hello. We've got an upgraded synaptic signal optimizer. So we can boost our health by another 10%. I do not mind if I do. Let's take that. I didn't even see what the cost of that was. 1920. That's fine. That's peanuts. That's about all we got from Vic. Cool. Thank you very much. Wait, did we already own that upgraded signal optimizer? I think we did, because I didn't notice any uh, any cash leaving our pocket. Right. Hey, Misty. Uh, hi. Yeah, I seen more of those weird murals. Like, lots more. Uh, saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? Um... They're all tarot cards. Yeah, maybe. Uh, nothing definite. Lots of branching decisions by the looks of it. Well, if they did, it was lost on me. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Oh. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. Yes, we've got two empty spaces. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Judgment and the devil. Um, so yeah, tell me more about the journey, first of all, because we realized sort of quite early on that we, it's loosely telling V's story through the world when we found the fool right outside of her apartment door. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together, discovered your potential. Where are we headed? Your destination is the world, the final Arcanum. Ah. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory or make peace. Could lose the war too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. Huh. So the devil and judgment. So which one's which? Which one's victory and which one's peace? Rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of primal dormant desires, but also the will to survive. Hmm. Doesn't sound okay. so bad, actually. Yeah. It also represents a false world, the trap these desires lay for you. Hmm. And judgment? What's this judgment about? One possible future of redemption, transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era and a call to rebirth, to a new beginning. Rebirth to new beginnings. Okay. Thanks. Didn't get much out of that, but thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Oh, me. four. The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die, not even get <laughs> that far. Oh, come on. You won't let that happen. No, I just reload. Take this. That's all I can do to help. Oh, what is it? Dreamcatcher? What? Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. Wow, okay. Uh, 
so she said four that there's two outcomes but four possible paths what does she say the sun the star what was it sun star moon i, I can't remember what the fourth one was huh okay um i'm just as perplexed now as i was before there's a mine over there had to make him why is there a mine just on the ground over there? Hold on, I need to go and investigate this. I think I know what this is. This is usually a little patch of tiger claws fighting off against the NCPD. Yeah, it looks like it's the same thing. Hello! <laughs> okay, let's uh, throw contagion on you. We'll throw overheat on you. So by the time contagion is passed, we'll bounce that back to somebody. Maybe a grenade for good Oh, hello, NCPD up there as well. Oh no, I've got a funny feeling. Hello. Good grief, the uh, NCPD are strong, aren't they? I've got a funny feeling that uh, Contagion may have spread to them as well by accident. Right, hold on. Hold on just a config in a minute. What's going on here? Why are people so damn powerful? Right, NCPD is calling for backup. I'm going to back out of this purely because I'm pretty certain... And my quick hats are affecting the NCPD just as much as they are the Tiger Claws. And that's not a great thing. Whoa, hello. <laughs> tiger reinforcements come closing in. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I'm leaving that tier 4 well to its, uh, its own devices. Right, let's make our way north. I'm going to get rid of the Mai Mai, like I said. Love you, little vehicle, but um, you're just too damn slow for my life. Oh, and clumsy for my liking. Let's call something else before this turf war boils over into uh, into Misty's Esoterica. Oh, NCPD are here. I can hear the sirens. Let's just go on the old uh, try to trust it, Nazare. Oh, jeez, it's really kicking up. Right. Now, don't... Whoa, hello. Who's doing the shooting? Oh, God, a bloody cop car down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a touch too close for my liking. Okay. Let's head. <laughs> Let's not head to Hanako at Embers. Let's head up to Judy's place. Uh, like I said, we're going to stop there just briefly. Um, catch up with Judy, see if there's anything new going on. Which I highly know. But one can hope. And um, yeah, I'll catch a shower. Jump into bed, have a little snooze, that'll, um, that'll get our health regen and XP gain up, I believe, which should help us on uh, on our journey to level 60. We should hopefully be losing the NCPD backup very shortly. Oh, don't stop right there, God! <laughs> right, NCPD's lost us. Marvellous. Excuse me, baby. Oh, blimey, the number of times that I've done that little, uh, that little encounter back there, the Tigers versus the NCPD, and it's gone absolutely fine. I've just walked in and slaughtered everyone. Well, slaughtered all of the bad guys, at least. This time, though, different story. Flipping heck. Okay. What the world was that? Uh, rest, cleanliness, and then maybe it might be worth us popping out and doing a little bit more, uh, a little bit more armor shopping. I could do, like I said, with finding a decent T-shirt for uh, to cover V's visage and not look completely out of place as a uh, as a street kid doing it. Judy up there? Judy, <laughs> I see you up there. Hello, my darling. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Get rid of Hanako and Embers off of my screen. Where's she gone? Wait, where has she gone? Oh, <laughs> hello. Right where I left you way back when. Um, well, that's the shower out of bounds. Anyway, let's jump in the uh, jump in bed, have a quick sleep. Hey, you. And of course, v, v sleeps fully clothed. Kind of jarring, but okay. Go and grab a shower. 
So that's our XP boost. I need to remember which way around these are. Sleep is the XP boost. Shower is health regen boost, I believe. Let's see. Refresh, yeah, regenerate health during combat. Um, Judy, I could, I could do with catching up with you and just sort of see what I've missed along the way. Not really checked out what we can do in this apartment. Can we literally just sit? Oh, we can sit over there as well. Interesting. Okay. Turn our eyes towards Asia. The summit between China and India. Well, I'm glad we tried out all of the seats here. Um under the agreement, the tariff. I want to try and get Judy up if I can. Now, a little trick that I worked out a little while ago is if I step out of the apartment and out to here, and I might need to edge my way up the stairs a little bit, but she does eventually get out of bed if I move far enough away from her. And that usually pops her into a different location, but it doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Oh, there we go. She's moved. She's in the kitchen now. I can see on the minimap. Hello, you. Oh, God, what was that all over your face? Um, <laughs> sorry, if I disturbed you in the middle of something. Really going for it. Good God. She's not interactable. Hey, hi. I'd really like to talk to you. What's going on with the face? I was just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Nothing special. Same old story. I'd rather hear about you. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, no, these aren't new. What's new with the march recording? Any cool brain dances? I thought they were new uh, conversation options, but they're not. I think her face has gone a little bit weird because that might be something that's supposed to be on her skin when she's in the shower, maybe. Hmm, OK, anyway. Um, yeah, we've been through that option as well. I'd like to spend more time with you. Uh, guess we'll just hug it out and part ways. Well, your face is fixed, at least. <laughs> How's that for a compliment? See you later, Judy. Right. Clothing vendor. Um, as I said, I would like to get a different uh, a different top to this one that we've got on at the moment, if at all possible. Let's take a look at what we... Oh, my God. <laughs> Looking like a hot mess again. Seems like every time we sleep, the hat reappears and the visor. Um, I mean, <laughs> I guess I, I could just send the T-shirt transparent. But I think I might get a few looks when I'm out and about in the city. So we'll pop it back on. Um, actually, I suppose it doesn't look so bad for now. We've got other priorities, I guess. What can we actually get up to in Night City when we've got no objectives to do? Um, let's see. Let's take another look at crafting, actually. Let's see what clothing we can craft. Of course, we can't do any of this because it's legendary. Uh, is there anything that we've acquired recently that we can potentially upgrade? Can we upgrade the... We can't upgrade the jacket that we've just acquired. Um, we could have upgraded the cop jacket, but that's not much use in that. We can... We've got space to upgrade our throwing blades, actually. Let's take a look at that, then. So, hold to upgrade. Is this going to allow us... Yeah, allow us two steps. So strange that we can only uh, only upgrade two steps per... Um, per item. We don't have a crafting spec for a higher-grade throwing blade. Yeah, we've, we've fully upgraded everything. <laughs> There's literally no more wiggle room. I took that perk hoping that I might be able to craft some amazing things. And we, we've got a very mildly upgraded Satori and um, one level of upgrades on pretty much everything else. But I suppose it's better than nothing. Uh, guys, right, I think... Oh, hello. Kerry. Ah, ha, ha. I was just about to call it uh, time there. What about Johnny? He amped for this gig or meh? Amped as he's ever been. Must be important to him. Or hard to say he you knows how he is. Uh, he seemed pretty keen. Uh, kind of a bit of both. You know how he is, but he seemed mildly positive and vaguely interested, which on the Johnny Silverhand scale means pretty much ecstatic. It must be important to him, because otherwise I wouldn't be forced to take this stupid pseudo donut train to zine. Well, I'm amped as fuck, if anyone's wondering. I'll be fucking... It'll be fucking Shimra. I just got to remember not to get too wasted before. Old habits die hard. Haha. <laughs> Right, 
good to hear from Kerry. I guess that's uh, that's a sign that things are moving along in the background. But guys, that's about all that we got time for this time round. Thanks very much for joining me. Um, was a little bit of a weird limbo episode this time round, of course, because uh, we, we were just... We're just kind of killing time at the moment, but I'm sure I'll think of something interesting to do in the meanwhile. But uh, until next time... Oh, uh, of course, we're going to have a subcon episode in between as well, aren't we? That should kill a little bit of time. Hopefully, Nats will be in touch next time. But anyway, if you'd like to leave a like, or you care to leave a comment, you know precisely what to do. Smack those into the relevantly shaped orifices down below. And just a reminder that I'll be going to the Insomnia Gaming Fest at the NEC Birmingham here in the UK on Saturday the 27th. So if you are in the UK and you happen to be going, uh, watch out for me. I'll be marching around in a black Johnny Silverhand Funko Pop Cyberpunk t-shirt with uh, Johnny emblazoned across the front in a very attractive neon pink. And uh, yeah, if you do see me, then uh, come on over, say hi. It would be great to meet you. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.